Hi, I'm Rachel. My husband Tom and I decided to start fertility treatment after we'd been trying for a baby for a while. As part of my treatment, I've just been prescribed Pergaveris. It can feel like there's a lot going on and so much for you to remember, but don't worry, we'll go through how to use your pre-fill pen together. It's important to keep your pen in the fridge within the original packaging until you need to use it. Do not freeze the pen. Before you get started, make sure you've washed your hands properly with soap and water. As well as watching this video, make sure you read the leaflet that comes in the pack with your pen and speak to your doctor or nurse if you have any questions. You'll also need to make sure you have all the things you need for your injection. Your correct strength Pergavaris pre-filled pen, a needle, alcohol swabs and a sharps disposal bin. You will need to ask your doctor or nurse for alcohol swabs and a sharps bin. Give yourself the injection at the same time every day. It's important to keep your pen in the fridge until the first time you use it. You can take it out half an hour before you want to inject to let it get to room temperature. That will make it a bit more comfortable when you inject. Check that your pen is at the strength you have been prescribed, as well as the expiry date on the pen and box before using your Pergavaris pen. If the pen has expired, please do not use it and contact your doctor. Then take the pen cap off so you can take a close look at the solution in the drug reservoir. The solution should be clear with no particles in it. You must only use your pen if the solution is clear and free of particles. If the solution isn't clear and particle free, speak to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist to get a new pen. OK, so mine looks fine. Before attaching the needle, first check that the dose feedback window is set to zero. Check that the seal on the outer needle cap is intact. If it's damaged or loose, throw the needle away in a sharps container and use a new one. If you do need any new needles, contact your clinic or pharmacist. If the seal is OK, simply peel it off. Put the threaded end of the pen onto the outer needle cap. You'll need to screw it in until you feel a light resistance. Not too tight though, or it might be hard to take it off again. Hold your pen with the needle pointing upwards. Pull off the outer needle cap. Keep it handy, as you'll need it later. Now carefully remove the green inner needle shield and throw it away. Do not recap with the green inner shield. Before using your pen for the first time, you'll need to make sure there's no trapped air. It's not required to check for a droplet of liquid when reusing the pen. To do this, look carefully at the tip of the needle for a tiny drop of fluid. If you can see one, then your pen is ready and you can skip straight to setting the dose. If you don't see a drop of fluid, here's what to do. Gently turn the dose setting knob clockwise until it reads 25 in the dose feedback window. Then as you hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards, like I am here, just gently tap on the drug reservoir, like this. While still keeping the pen upright, push the dose setting knob in fully until the dial returns to zero. You should be able to see a small drop of liquid, like this one, at the tip of the needle. This means that you've removed all the air. If you still can't see a drop of fluid, you will need to repeat these steps until you can see one. Don't worry, there's always a bit of extra fluid in the pen, so you will have enough for your dose. Now we're ready to set the dose. Check that the dose window reads zero. Turn the dose knob until your prescribed dose appears in the dose window. Turn the dose setting knob forward to dial up and turn it backward to correct the dose if you need to. The numbers in the dose window show the dose of folotropin alpha, which is one component of Pergavaris. It's important that the dose window displays your accurate prescribed dose before you move on to the next step. Right, you're ready to inject. Your doctor or nurse will have talked to you about where on your body you should inject. It's best to choose a different injection site each day so it doesn't become uncomfortable for you. Clean your skin with an alcohol swab. Hold the pen with one hand and check once more that the number on the dose display shows your dose. Now slowly insert the entire needle into the skin. Push the dose setting knob right to the end with the needle still in your skin and keep it pressed down for at least five seconds. 
the number in the dose feedback window will turn back to zero. When you're done, take the needle out, making sure you keep pressing the dose knob down until you've taken the needle out completely. Now you've finished your injection, you'll need to make sure that you injected your full dose. The dose window should show zero, like mine here, see? If it doesn't read zero, the number shows how much pergovaris you still need to inject using a new pen. Now you've finished, you just need to take the needle off and put the pen away. First, put the outer needle cap on a flat surface. Then holding your pen with one hand, very carefully push the needle into the outer needle cap. Push it against a firm surface, like this, until you hear it click. Be careful not to prick yourself. Then grip the outer needle cap and unscrew the needle by turning anti-clockwise. You can then dispose of the used needle safely, as instructed by your doctor or nurse. Now you can put the pen cap back onto your pen and store it in its original packaging in a safe place outside of the fridge for up to 28 days. When your pen is empty, ask your pharmacist how to throw it away. As you can see, using Pergovaris pre-filled pen can be quite easy, and it tends to get even easier as you go along. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your treatment journey.